If you ever see a sea cucumber lolling on the ocean floor, don't let its squishy, sausage-like vibe fool you into thinking it's an easy target. This slimy weirdo throws out its guts like a desperate escape artist, shouting, here, eat this, I'm out of here, in the grossest way imaginable. Curious as to what would happen should you be nearby when this gooey grenade detonates? Stay close until the very last of the video to discover why these underwater oddballs rule disgusting defense. Should wild and wacky cause your stomach to turn over, or your curiosity to buzz, smash that like button and subscribe for more crazy sea stories. We have a gut-busting adventure waiting. Imagine yourself snorkeling over a reef, the water glistening clean, when you come upon a lumpy blob simply chilling among the coral. Looking like a fat, warty pickle, kind of cute, sort of meh. This is a sea cucumber. You swim closer, perhaps prod it with a stick, and whoosh. It barfs out its insides like a horror show reject, spewing sticky, stringy guts right at you. That's not accident. It's a full-on, take this and leave me alone action. And it's as unpleasant as it sounds. Those gutsy, designed to clog a predator's day, they are slimy, twisted, and occasionally poisonous. A mess meant to choke her away from the cucumbers. Divers who have seen it say it's like watching a balloon pop with spaghetti. Grossest thing ever. A guy in Hawaii groaned, still rinsing his mask. How they do this gut-wrenching feat interests me. Let's slid in here. These floppy freaks are designed for the oddball. Unlike most sea stars or fish, sea cucumbers are soft, tubby weirdos with no spine. Their leathery skin packs surprises. Some smooth, some bumpy, all looking like they rolled out from a sci-fi prop bin. They come in brown, black, even neon green. The actual magic, though, comes from their interior. Like a crab or fish, they flex a muscle, open an opening near their butt, and eject their guts like a slimy fire hose when danger approaches too near. Though let's call it what it is, a gross-out getaway, it is known as evisceration. Those guts can tangle, sting, or simply plain stink, allowing the cucumber time to a wheeze off like, see ya sucker! Ever come across a fish gag? That's the victory lap of the sea cucumbers. The wild turn, though, is here. They do not simply die after missing lunch. Those guts return like a superpower straight out of a comic book. Weeks later, they are reloaded, ready for round two. The bits that have been expelled? They are a decoy. Sticky threads wrapped around claws or jaws, occasionally with a poisonous kick that says, eat this and regret it. Some species, according to scientists, lay their innards in saponins, nasty chemicals that will either burn a predator's mouth or render it dead. Jaw dropped as a diver in the Pacific watched one blast a shrimp. Shrimp froze like it had been tased. Here, eat this is a slimy slap, not just a diversion. Imagine this right now. Poking about a reef, Mia, a snorkeler, pushed a sea cucumber with her fin. She said, thought it was harmless, then, till it puked guts all over my leg. She flailed, screaming about a sea monster as the white stringy mess stuck like glue. Still scrubbing later, she moaned, smelled like rotting fish. Their game is to look calm, blend into the sand or rocks, then bam and use the gooey escape strategy to strike you. And they don't just freak out people. If pushed, fish, crabs, even turtles get the gut treatment. Laughing, a reef guide in Australia watched one fend off a parrotfish. Fish swam off choking. Let us focus on the guts now. Some shoot out long, sticky tubes called cuvierian organs, like a built-in slime cannon, not just a random spew. These threads tangle, cling, and stretch to transform the hunt of a predator into a dream. Other species just yate their whole digestive tract. Stomach, intestines, the works, leaving a pile of deal with it while they scoot. The poisonous agents? Small fry can be killed, paralyzed, or stung directly by them. She winced. Rinsing quickly, a biologist in Thailand got a face full of accident. Burned my eyes like salt. In the range, they have clocked shots up to a foot. Picture a squished blob outgunning a squirt toy. Here's the weird bit, though. They are more of a panic blast. They do not always aim. They will first puff up and wave their warty body like back off. They might then squirt water from their butt. Indeed, they have plenty of tricks, still making progress. The guts fly at that moment. The hard way was learned by a diver called Jake. His friend poked one and sprayed a cloud of white strings. Looked like spider webs from heaven, he said. We swam off choking. Though it's a sticky, stinking mess, the slime is not fatal to humans. Think of wet socks meeting spoiled milk. 
I'm out of here is a way of life not only a sentence, this is a wild story here. All calm until he grabbed it, a Japanese fisherman hauled up a net including sea cucumbers mixed in. It burst guts everywhere, he said. My boat smelled like a sewage pipe. He threw it back, but the red goo stayed on his hands, his tools, everything, shelled back for days. Still furious, he said, like it cursed me. Their approach is quiet until they are not, then all in with the carnage. And they do not only zap people, predators suffer more. Still spooked, a diver said, got tangled and drowned. A crab in the Caribbean tried to claw one. But they are survivors too, not all slime and anarchy. With their tentacle-like mouth, sea cucumbers suck up detritus, dead stuff, algae, small creatures, like a vacuum. Have you ever seen one eat? Cleaning the ocean floor like a gooey janitor is slow. Slurp, sift, repeat. Eyes wide, a young child in Fiji watched one scoop sand and remarked, looked like a slug with a plan. And that physique? It's soft but strong. Some have small bone plates inside, which makes them chewy challenge for everything that avoids the gut. A turtle in Mexico tried once, spit it out fast, a snorkeler grimaced. Now here is a close call. Under a rock, a diver named Tara said, thought it was a sponge, then it barfed on my glove. She yelped, shook it off as the yellow mess spilled out. Still disgusted, she said, smelled like a landfill. Lucky it skipped her face. Others are not so lucky. A Filipino fisherman got it in his hair. Stung like jellyfish, he groaned, then spent hours washing. That's the eat this component. It's not only yuck, it's a jolt. How then do they flourish outside? These folks are seafloor experts. Tropics, deep oceans, everywhere mucky. Their drab or wild colors will mix with the sludge. Some even glow in the dark. They will inch along. Has one hide ever been seen? They roll slowly like a lazy log, but speed is meaningless when the guts pop. A hiker on Guam stumbled over one on a tide pool. Didn't see it until it moved, he said. Then it sprayed my shoe. Though they hardly move, they are experts on, you'll never catch me. Here is a gummy horror tale. Leo, a guy fishing, had a sea cucumber hitch in his catch. He said, I squeezed it and wham, guts in my face. He staggered back, cleaning his eyes, grumbling about the slime bomb. Still furious, he spat, tasted like sour seaweed. For days, his friend laughed. You lost to a sausage, he said, and they do not only zap people, predators suffer more. Still freaked, a witness described a fish in Okinawan striking one and getting a mouthful of strings, choked and sank. Still, let us get more weird. Some sea cucumbers shed their whole back end, leaving a take that pile while they crawl off, not stopping at guts. Like a zombie movie, a diver in Bali reported one split in two. Half stayed, half ran, he said. Then that slime? Depending on the species or diet, it is not always white. Often it is pink, orange, or green. Has a critter weaponized its own goo? These men perfected the most natural trick available. How then should one avoid the gut blast? If you are in their zone, that is, consider reefs or deep muck, watch your hands. Since they move slowly, avoid poking or grabbing. See one pup or a twitch? Back off slowly, avoid sudden motions. You are the target. Have you acquired gloves? Good. Slime smells less strongly through rubber. And should you find yourself hit? Rinse quickly, vinegar kills the sting. Water breaks down the goo. Splashes of eyes? If it burns, flush them and see a dock. It's not poison, but it's not joke. Pets mixed in with the mix? Keep them clear. Dogs will sniff and hurl. A diver sighed, whined all day, and had a face full. Still present? Sweetie, these cucumbers are MVPs not only weird, they recycle muck like squishy heroes and help to clean the sea. Old stories refer to them as sea ghosts, disappearing with their guts as bait. Spooky, but exactly accurate. Ever seen one flashpoint glow under a flashlight? It's spooky, slime tracks like a warning. One of the Thai campers laughed, felt like a dare, and stared him down. And those flaws? Everyone's different. Bumps, spikes, a coat of don't touch. Ever come across one or acquired a slimmer story? Share it in the comments. We really would like to hear. Watch the video for the complete gut throwing show. If Team Cucumber is now like subscribe, share, keep yourself neat buddies.